Final Cut Tutorials X, and um, I already I did one video before, but I'm gonna do another one. So today I'm gonna show you on Final Cut Pro X how to do the white wall flashy effect that I used. Um, and I used it in a lot of my vid videos, but mainly the We Run the Night video. Um, and this is inspired by Simply Bella X because she did this first. So I'm just going to do a tutorial about how to do it. So basically, you open up Final Cut, obviously, and then you create a new project. So I'm just going to call it Randomness blah 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 because I don't know. Yeah. And then you say OK. And of course, Final Cut is really slow, so it's going to take a while. OK, so then you grab whatever um, footage you want. And usually, you want to add the jump cuts and whatnot before, and then export them and then import them back in. So I've already done that, so that it's just one big piece. You don't want it to be all, like, because otherwise you'd have to do every single little clip, so everything's already added here. And I'm just, the one thing that's important is for this, you should try to wear a dark shirt. It doesn't have to be green or anything, but here I have a black shirt on, but dark blue or green or um, purple or anything like that. Because if you wear a white shirt, it won't work as well, or a light colored shirt, it won't work as well. So the first thing you want to do is go down to effects. So you go here or you go here. Yeah. And you go down to effects and then you go down to stylize, which, yeah, go up like that. Okay. So you go to stylize and you go and you down and you go down to um, graphics which you probably know where it is, but I'm just looking for it. Okay, and here's graphic, and so then you pull graphic and you put it onto your clip. And as you can see, it looks really scary and weird, so um, you click on your clip and it should come up in Inspector, right here. So the first thing that you wanna do is make it so that you can see yourself, and then you want to, um, Bring the pivot down, almost all the way down, so it looks you get the white wall effect. Not you don't want to do all you don't want to do it all the way down, but almost all the way down like that. And you can also play around with the amount, but you can't lower it too much, or else, as you can see, it doesn't look like a white wall anymore. So like that. And then what you want to do is you want to go to basics in the effects, like still in the effects, and go to colorize. And you click colorize and it comes in. And then it should load and yeah. So um then what you do is you want to make your background white. So the bottom one you want to make white, and then the top one you make whatever color that you want. And I usually I'm just gonna do like Blue. I usually hire the intensity all the way up, but you can't do it all the way up, just like that, so that it's whatever the color is, it's really bright and intense, and as you can see, there's many different colors that you can do. Um, so if you, what well, then what you do is you go to, because you want it to change, and you don't, if you just want it to be one color, then you're finished. But if you want the color to change, then you go to um, blade and you make you separate the clips. First one, and I'm just gonna leave that green. And then to the second one, and you change the color to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter any color that you like. I'll just do pink. And um, yeah, so while I'm doing this, I just want to say a couple things, which is that, oh wait, I just did pink, which is that um, this channel, Final Cut 
Tutorials X is I just made this and it's just sort of going to be a tutorial channel. But yeah, so for any of the videos I, I do, probably if you request it, I'll probably do it for sure because well, we'll see how many requests I get. Probably I won't get that many, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, so. And I'm also going to do one, a tutorial about how I made my I Can't Stop video. Well, some of it, because that was requested by at least four people. So, then what you do is we can play it and see how it turned out. And then it changes color. Unfortunately, there was no. So basically, it's just a white wall, and that's the background. And I did this on my We Run the Night video. And I really like this effect because it's sort of um, your own effect that you made. And it's not like something that's built in in Final Cut. So it takes a lot of imagination and stuff. And it kind of looks like there's a green screen. Not really, but it's really, I really like it. So, and by the way, you can also make the background different colors. I, this is a white wall flashy effect tutorial, so that's why I'm doing it as a white wall. But you can also um, make the background whatever color you want, and then that changes it. <laughs> yeah, so... Let's say you wanted to make the background pink, then you've got just your body in like that. But I prefer the white wall. I don't know, background could be cool. So, anyway, that is how you do a white wall flashy effect on any video in Final Cut Pro X. And um, I'm not, I don't think you can do it like this in iMovie. I'm really bad with iMovie, so I probably won't do any tutorials on that. And, yeah, so, bye guys, I'll see you next time, and hopefully I will have a new video for, yeah, okay.